what is up? Gonna be starting these new weekly vlogs. Today's Monday, November 1st. Gonna be kinda just documenting my life and what I'm doing. Gonna be holding myself accountable so I can watch, go back and see what I've been up to, so y'all can see what I'm up to, so I can just get back in the content flow of things. So today it's November 1st, it's a Monday, I'm going to work, been up since 6 a.m. And it's about 8, 10 a.m. right now. I'm down the street from the 7-Eleven where I pick up my coworker, Jennifer, every single day before work, helping her get to work. But she's saving up for a car. So I'm going to go get my coffee, pick up Jennifer. We're going to get rocking and rolling with the day. I'm going to keep y'all updated on what's going on. Let's do it. All right, just rolled up to work. Got myself a little espresso shot coffee. That's my job right over there, policy scout. And um, you already know, we are about to get a little litty before work, a little motivation never hurt anyone. So let's get the day started, y'all. All right, 12.30 on my lunch break. Kind of a slow day, not gonna lie. I've gotten seven transfers, actually eight transfers. I just got one on my last phone call before lunch. Eight transfers. So far, only three, possibly four, have went through billable, which means that after I transferred them, they either turned into a sale or stayed on the line with the salesman for over two minutes. So we get paid per billable, not per transfer. So that means my eight transfers and potential four billables confirmed three, I'm only getting paid on the four. Um, so it's a little low. I may or may not get home, sent home early. I already told them I want them to listen to my phone calls, let me know what they hear so I can improve myself um, if I do get sent home early. That way I can go home and listen to my recordings and, and figure out what's going on. So it's now 2.45 and um, I have officially been sent home. I didn't even get one more billable. <laughs> Remember that last time I said I had four, three, cooking four? Yeah, well, it turned into four. I went back and I asked for advice. They sat me down for a good 15 minutes. I took their advice. I went back on the phone to apply the advice and literally got no more in three hours. It was crazy. But I tried. And I would rather shoot and miss than not shoot at all. Um, so I guess that's the lesson for me for today. I get to go home early, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go home and enjoy a, a freaking half day on Monday. <laughs> not so bad being sent home. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. I forgot I was vlogging for a couple hours, but we back, okay? We are back. Went to True Leaf, just got some medical. Y'all didn't miss much. I just got some medical, and then I got home and I got medicated, okay? Watched a good movie. Gonna show y'all that in a second. Jim from The Office is in it, and Kevin from Shameless is in it. Great movie. I forget the name. And somebody who looks like Tom Cruise, but he's not Tom Cruise. Fun fact. Anyway, ADHD, back to the mission at hand. We are Gary V-ing it. Doing Gary V trash talk type stuff right now, okay? So I got all this random stuff. Some of it is from garage sales. Some of it from getting free stuff off Craigslist. Some of it just from random stuff around the house. My mom picked up some stuff like I got a new blender. So we got a blender. So we're gonna sell that. We're gonna sell lots of little stuff like this Pikachu here, you know, this over the heads rabbit thing. Lots of cool stuff. We got. We got Positive Panda, <laughs> shout out Gary V. So Gary V actually gave me this idea. You got a bunch of random junk laying around the house. Sell it, put it on Facebook Marketplace, eBay. Right now I'm gonna start with Facebook Marketplace because it's easy, no fees. I'm eventually gonna go to eBay. Um, and then I'm gonna do garage selling and possibly flea markets, um, as you guys have already seen. So taking Gary V's advice, I'm not just gonna listen to his advice, I'm actually going to go and put it into motion and apply it. This is the first time I've actually gone out and tried doing Gary V's trash talk idea and actually making it uh, real and like actually going for it. So I wanted to start documenting it, I'm gonna start posting pics up and uh, I'll show you some of the pics I put up in rapid motion right now. We're gonna make some money Gary V style today. Then we're gonna go put together 
this gym in the making. We're gonna put some posters up here or around here. I'm gonna be researching into different blinds because this does not look very good. So we're gonna get this, this gym looking nice. Look, I even got the Planet Fitness logo up there, okay? So we're a working gym right now. Okay, so that was easy enough. All the stuff that was over there is now over here. And now I wanna throw it in the freaking boxes. And then we're gonna get to work on putting this gym together. Let's do it. All right, so this is what I got until I get the rest of my boxing equipment back from my old house. I got the pull-up bar station over here. We got the posters we're gonna put up around here is what I'm thinking. We got the boxing gloves, plenty for people to come over and spar. We got the elastic bands to work out with. We got this, this helps the O2 oxygen for boxing so the blood doesn't rush all the way to the middle of your body. Gives you less oxygen so you're used to receiving less oxygen. I'll tell y'all more about that later. And I got size helps the face. Put that in my room actually. Gotta remember to start doing that. You know, we got the garage sale stuff. Facebook Marketplace stuff. We got the speed bag. We're also gonna get the, the punching bag over here pretty soon, 80 pound bag. And then we got the free weight section over here and other miscellaneous. I think I wanna put a bench press here and move the boxing, punching, and speed bag right over there where the chair is. So it's the beginning of a gym and I'm really happy with the space so far. Planet Fitness. More like planet litness, am I right? Oh, that's my left arm, that's, that's my left arm. Oh, there we go, there we go. It's still not good enough. I'll, get, I'll work on it, I pro I'll work on it. About to read and review, go over this book I've been reading by Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich. It's called Outwitting the Devil. Read this book before thinking you're rich. I like to think of this as a precursor to thinking you're rich. I wish I had read it before. About to show my mom it for the first time with myself. So we're gonna read it together for the first time together. And um, it's really important information. I'm actually gonna make a whole another video, maybe even a video series on this book. Very important information. And then we make it back to some housework. I'm just kind of vibing, documenting my life, taking y'all with me. Hopefully y'all enjoy. This isn't for everyone. This is for the candid few that actually want to see what I'm up to. Kind of like a Snapchat, but a long version on YouTube. Anyway, time to read. Tell your boyfriend to make a decision. I'm lying in bed last night. I'm thinking about you. Thinking about you? Wondering if I should jerk off or not? I totally think you're hot. I just feel, I don't know, I associate you now with failure. <laughs> How do you make the most hideous things sound charming? That's a compliment, right? Sure. <laughs> so how big it is. Excuse me? I don't know how to say this. Um, God, Rachel, I like you. I've always liked you. When another guy came in the picture, I liked you even more. You are home for me. Now who does she want? Not you! You're in friend zone, buddy. <laughs> what? You're in friend zone. Nah, bro, she gone for Pam. Okay, and now we're going to work a little bit on this wall right here. Fill it up with the Walking Dead posters that I have. See, I already got the anime at works. And I got more stuff there. It's all action figures. Next, fill up that wall. Alright, we got Andy right there, see if the tape holds. But y'all can start to get the gist of what I'm doing. Anime on this wall. And then Walking Dead all over there. And then, yeah, we 
regardless. Utilizing Japanese milk, and I'm gonna fill up this wall and just keep it going. All it was the way over two hundred variant of the seven three seven action figure collection. I didn't organize this, but yeah. The extra player itself was operated by Southwest Airlines in the United States before being sold to Air Philippines. Flight 541 was a morning flight between Manila and Davao City, located a few hundred miles south. At 5.30 in the morning of April 19, 2000, Air Philippines Flight 541 left Manila with 131 passengers and crew on board. It's the start of the Easter holidays, and transportation across the Philippines is crowded. Flying the plane that morning was Captain Estraton Villasmino Catape, a pilot of over 30 years' experience. He was the youngest pilot to serve for Philippine Airlines in the 1960s. He had been flying planes for more than his co-pilot's entire life. Captain Don Sardala was active as a co-pilot, despite being a captain himself at just 22 years old. The opposite of what I want. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Tell them who's a good boy. Hey. Oh, what? Are you dying? Tell them who's a good boy. See? I'm a good boy. Say it. Say bye, Chip. Bye. Wanna vape? My name's Clay. All right, it's Tuesday, November the 2nd, at work. It is 8.40, here a little bit early as usual. And um, also, my producer, Kid Chameleon's, also, my producer, Kid Chameleon's album, also, my producer, Kid Chameleon's new EP, his second synthwave EP just came out. It's called Streetlights and a Rear Views. Everyone go check that out. If you can, if you would, buy a copy for eight bucks. It only costs seven dollars, but when you pay eight bucks for it, it helps boost his EP and the algorithm on Bandcamp. So I really appreciate everyone that goes out there and spends the eight bucks and shows their support for me and the Broke Chameleon. We're working hard on the music. We're working hard to start this content for you guys. That's why I'm vlogging my week. And uh, yeah, day two at work. Got um, called home early yesterday for production, low production, but we're back and I'm ready to attack it day two. So let's get it and um, I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with my day. All right, end of the work day. Just dropped off my coworker, Jennifer. And um, so now I am actually on my way home slash on my way 
to Lawrence if she's home to get my Atlanta Braves hat because it is the World Series game number six tonight. Braves versus Astros. If the Braves win tonight, the Braves are the 2021 World Series champions. If we lose tonight and lose tomorrow, then we lose it all. But I have a feeling that tonight's the night. November the 2nd, 2021 is the night that the Atlanta Braves win the World Series. So, yeah. It's a, kind of a crazy time you guys are entering my life. The Atlanta Braves haven't been to the World Series in 22 years, and now they're one game away from winning it. So, ah, I'm freaking out. That is my dinner tonight. Look how ghetto I have to order my food. Watch this. Welcome to Station. My name's Paula. What's my card for you today? Um, yes. Um, can I get um the double steak burger with cheese and fries? Okay, ketchup pickle onion okay in that? Yep. Anything else for you tonight? Um, yes. Can I also get um a garlic steak burger and fries? Okay. And then also um I'll get another garlic steak burger and fries, and that's it. Okay, show's gonna be twelve eighty one. Go to pour out. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Super ghetto. Oh yeah, y'all know this feeling. Pulling up in the drive-through feeling. That's right. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Uh, yes. Errs and and mams. Don't forget about the mams. Had to stop by get myself an O's. I love these things. Trying to quit them though. It's a vape. Sweet apple. Help me not smoke weed when I couldn't. I was on probation for a year. That's for another video. But yeah, shout out to Discount Beverage. Yeah, shout out to Discount Beverage, my favorite store. Here's what they look like. Discount beverage. Oh yeah, baby. They got Snoop Dogg liquor too. So, <laughs> probably the best news I've ever received in my entire life. I'm watching the Braves game. I'm nervous. Jorge Soler is up. He's batting. And two people are on, two outs, three, two count. He fouls back, two pitches. Boom, foul, boom, foul. I'm sweating. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, he's gonna hit it, he's gonna hit a home run, he's gonna hit a home run, he's gonna hit a home run. And then boom! He hits a fucking home run! Here's the clip. Here's the fucking clip. Jorge Soler is ridiculous. Also, have a Jorge Soler's ridiculous video out on my channel, probably by now. Go check that out. Holy shit, Freddie Freeman's up right now, I gotta go. Chip, what do you think about that? The Braves are winning, bro. The Braves are winning. Do you understand? Oh God, I wish you could understand. Do you understand? Does anyone understand? Dansby Swanson just hit a two-run blast. Two-run home run. Braves are up five to nothing right now. Robin just took a bath with me, or shower. Chipper, how you feeling? Chip, Chip, hey, the Braves are winning. How do you feel about that? Chipper. Oh. He just worries about his belly. Think, I, don't think, I don't think he understands that the Braves are gonna win the World Series. Do you understand? Do you, Dansby Swanson, Dansby Swanson hit a home run. Dansby Swanson with a two run blast. Here's the home run. Check out Dansby Swanson. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. No wonder we drafted him in the first round. <laughs> no wonder. I also got a new bubbler bomb. Log. It was only 38 bucks. No internet. <laughs> no internet? That's, that's not good. No. 
It's gotta go wireless. It's not used to going wireless. Yeah, Robin's gonna smoke some weed. Come on. Smoke the weed, do it. Did you get oh. the letter? Oh my god, he just jumped on the phone. <laughs> oh my god, he jumped on it again. You need to get Is that a trick? Kickstand. Go ahead, do it again, Robin. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Come on, jump up. Oh yeah. Oh my god, yo, Robin, you're really not having a good hair day. <laughs> Robin, uh, you should be excited. The Braves are winning. Why do you look so nervous, huh? Six nothing. Thank you, Freddie. Please resign with us. Freddie Freeman is going to be a free agent after this season, so hopefully he resigns with the Braves. I think he will. He's too valuable. I mean, look what he just did. Jesus, six nothing Braves. We ain't losing this one, I'm saying that much. We ain't losing this one. Oh, it doesn't stop. Freddie Freeman just hit a solo home run. It's seven to nothing, Braves. It's seven to nothing. <laughs> we won the World Series already. It's not even over, but it's over. Oh my God. I really hope Freddie Freeman resigns. Now I'm gonna take some pics of my mom so she can send it to her boyfriend. That should be fun. <laughs> We won. We won. Mm -hmm. Atlanta Braves 2021 World Series champions. That's all I got to say. Hey, Chip. We won. Hey, Chip. We won. What do you think? Okay, it is sometime in the morning, 6.30ish. I'm tired, but the Braves won, baby. Gotta go pick up my coworker Jennifer, head to work. It's Wednesday the 3rd of November. Let's fucking get it. Ooh, vlog check-in. I haven't had a moment to vlog all day today, so I'm just gonna kind of do a quick recap of what happened today. You know, um, stayed up super late, 3 a.m. last night watching the Braves content over and over and over again. I still can't believe they won the World Series. Like, that's what I've been waiting for my entire life. And it's cool that I started vlogging the same week that it happened. I don't, it's just crazy. Um, so today, woke up 6 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever it was, picked up my coworker, went to work, started 9 a.m., had a really bad start, only had two billables by lunchtime. Remember, Monday I got sent home at two o'clock by having four. So I, I thought I was gonna get sent home. I told them, give me more advice. I listened to my phone calls, I got better. I went back and I ended up closing the day with seven, which I'm not very proud of, but I am proud of my effort and my attitude. Every single pitch, I sounded good, I was trying, so you know, I give myself credit where it's due. Now tomorrow I'm gonna go in after listening to some recordings tonight and digesting what they told me to apply, go in tomorrow and have a goal of hitting 25. That's my goal for tomorrow, for billables. And I can do it, I will do it. And so yeah, now I'm picking up Lauren, I'm waiting for her to call me back. She's going to help me out, get some true leaf. Lauren, she's awesome, I can't wait to get her on the vlog for you guys and she's gonna help me get a marijuana pen to smoke on for tomorrow because I used up my whole limit. That's the one bad thing about having medical. You have a limit. So I spent it all. So she has room on her dispensary. So we're gonna go get a cart with her. I'm gonna smoke with her, hang out. And then I'm gonna head home and try to get to bed before fucking midnight and edit some Braves videos. I've got to call Daniel, tell him I want to make a Braves beat and start giving him the details on that. Oh yeah, you heard me right. We're going to be making an Atlanta Braves song rap. It's going to be fucking dope. You guys aren't ready. I mean, here's some examples of what it may or could sound like right now. I mean, can you imagine the intense energy of me rapping with all my energy and force after the Braves won the World Series? Gotta do it for my grandpa, gotta do it for my dog, gotta do it for Chipper Jones and Freddie Freeman. So, I'm ranting too much, ADHD. I'm waiting for Lauren, and, um, and then we're gonna go get weed. That's basically it, and then I'm going home because I had a long day at work. 
because you know what? I'm not Logan Paul. I don't blow up stuff in my vlogs. This is just my life, guys, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, home. It's fucking 8.50. I have like an hour to myself before I gotta go to bed because I was dog beat tired today. Freestyled a little bit on the way home, so that was productive. But, you know, I, this is a real vlog. I'm not faking any of this, it's just my life. And sometimes it's gonna be boring. That's why I'm doing this in weekly segments. I wanna make it real. And not only do I want it for you guys to be content, I want it to be for me to look back and ask, did I do everything I could have that day? And also enjoy the experiences. So I hope you guys are enjoying as much as I am doing this and it's really fun. So I'm gonna go in, shower, smoke, eat, relax, let myself calm down and I may edit tonight, or I may not. Check in with y'all in a little bit. Okay, let's do it. I'm so fucking ready to relax and smoke. Ooh. All right, now it's early, baby. It is Thursday, November 4th, I think, and it is 6.20, and I'm about to go early to pick my coworker Jennifer up it because I'm gonna nap before she gets off her bus for 20 minutes and then go get our other coworker and nap about 20 minutes at work before night. I'm dying, but that's okay because the Braves are champs and it's okay. I will endure this pain until tomorrow and sleep. Did not have really much time to film anything yesterday, but I got my pen and, um, yeah, so, didn't really have much time to film much yesterday, but got my pen, we're back, and, um, didn't really have much to film yesterday, but, yeah, today's a new day, my goal is 25, and, um, yeah, so, let's go have a good day, I'm about to go pick my coworkers up and sleep in my car like a maniac. Yo. So, I think I just had the idea of my life on the drive over here. In Napoleon Hill, in the book How Winning the Devil talks about the voice, your other self. And I think I just had one of those moments. My bro Kalos always used to say, dreams to reality. And DTR. That was a clothing business he wanted to start a long time ago. I'm not talking about clothes. The name Dreams to Reality really, really stuck with me for the name for my business, Daniel's business, RJ's business, whoever else gets involved. Mainly us three right now, especially. Dreams to Reality music videos and, and vlogs, edits, content, audiobook recordings, Daniel, studio, beats, everything related. RJ can do thumbnails, picture edits, and train me how to do it so I can also do it for people. Yes dreams to reality with a sign and a phone number everywhere marketing our services with a catalog of prices probably buying a website on GoDaddy buying a, like an expensive domain name if possible get a page where they can pay us we gotta figure out the, the money transferring process and also the customer acquisition process and the money transfer process. Also the pitch and the sale close process. So figure that out, Gabe. That's the idea, map it out. And also, maybe find a website guy. Manifest that. I'm fucking tired, but I'm having great ideas. I'm gonna take a fucking nap. By the way, I'm at 7-Eleven, and <laughs> I know that was a crazy idea but I'm about to take my, my genius nap now and hopefully get another good idea for that. Maybe think of a website guy and go get my espresso actually for when I wake up. So, doses, probably see y'all at lunch. 
goal is 25. I want to hit 30 though, but the goal is 25 today. So I'm going to take this nap, get this energy, make this bread. That's good. What is up, vlog? Amazing day. Just dropped off my coworker, Jennifer. Uh, we just got these free tacos from Taco Bell because Ozzy Albee stole a base in the World Series. Cut to that clip. Thanks, Ozzy. Appreciate you. Go Atlanta. We champions. So I'm actually, I thought I was going to go home and relax because I'm exhausted today. So my goal was 25 today. I ended the day with 20. Now, let me tell you why that's important. I had six at lunch. I had six. And I went up to my manager, Brian, and I was like, I need your advice. No, actually, I went to my manager, Tori, first. I said, I need your advice. And her advice helped me bump up to 13. I had 13, and there was 45 minutes left. I went to my manager, Brian, and I said, I need your advice. And, he's, and he told me to get super loud to where I felt uncomfortable loud. And so I, I started pitching super uncomfortably loud, like a megaphone, and I got seven in my last 45 minutes to bump me all the way to 20 billables for the day. Now, my original goal was 20, but I upped it to 25 because I wanted to shoot for the stars. So maybe I manifested what I expected. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to go in there expecting to hit 35, and I'm gonna do it. Because if I hit 35, I will hit commission for the week, because I got seven on Monday. Now moving on to the Taco Bell. I thought I was gonna go home and rest because I am exhausted, almost falling asleep today, but I gotta go get me some Braves tacos, some Ozzy Albies tacos. I mean, how can I not make this a video right now? I gotta go get tacos for the Atlanta Braves winning the World Series and Ozzy I'll be stealing a fucking base so that's what we're gonna do right now I got two free tacos technically we're gonna count it as three because I got my co-worker free taco let's see how many free tacos we can get before we go home <laughs> okay so I just got two more free tacos I said that my I wanted one for my mom and they didn't even look in the car so I may try to get three in the next drive through this one's eight minutes away Oh, there's so many Taco Bells on the way home, too. Oh, I should have been doing this from Tampa. This is only from St. Pete to Holiday. There's so many Taco Bells. Oh, dang, bro. They got me. I tried to get one for my mom, who's not in the car. <laughs> They're like, is she in the car? And I'm like, no, but does it end at a certain time? They're like, no. I was like, oh, great. I just played it off. So um, we're about to get taco number five and that's technically six because we got one for Jennifer so we are just racking up on tacos these are like 250 a piece Ozzy I'm mean, do the math Ozzy Albies just made me money shit I don't even have to bet nothing he has to play again savage are you kidding me I mean I can't say enough it's a dream come true for me the Atlanta Braves our World Series champions. I've waited my whole life for this. The Atlanta Braves were my first tattoo. And now I'm picking up free tacos, which is gonna fill me up for dinner today, lunch tomorrow. Probably dinner tomorrow too, because one of my favorite players, I got a bobblehead of Ozzy Albies. He stole a base in the World Series, and then we won the World Series. And Freddie Freeman hit a home run in his, what may be his last at bat as a Brave. Even though I know he's gonna resign. Clip that clip them winning. I mean, the amount of joy in their faces. I feel it. Go Braves. It's more than just baseball. It's spiritual in a way. It's religious. A lot of people, they say they get religious for sports. I guess I do too. It makes your life better when, you know, you care about a team and there's reasons why you actually care about the players and their personalities and their work ethic and their teamwork. You learn from it. You learn from anything in life, so. I'm getting ranty. That's my ADHD flowing in again. Anyway, fucking Doritos Los Tacos. Thank you, Ozzy Albies. Shout out to you. You the real one. Can't believe you gangsta stealing that base. Gangsta. Straight gangsta status. Original OG Ozzy Albies. Everyone go follow. Ozzy Albies, because I'm sure at least one or two of you got a free taco today because of him. Go Braves! 
2022, can we have a repeat? World Series champs two years back to back? Thank you, Ozzy Albies, for the six free tacos. I think I'm about to, I had an idea for a Instagram video. I'm gonna tag Ozzy Albies in it and try to get his attention. So I'm gonna have all the tacos and like folding them up like money in my hands and then the, the, the video of him stealing the base and stuff behind me with the Braves hat. I'll just keep on this same outfit because of blue Braves colors. And, and I don't know, tag him in it and be like, hey, shout out Ozzy Albies. Anyone who doesn't know by midnight tonight, go get yourself a free taco. And uh, yeah, so. Actually, here's the meme video right here. I'm about to go home and do it. So here it is right now. Yes, sir. America. Ozzy Albies gave me five free tacos. Wow, that's cool. That's almost like you guys saw manifestation happen because I'm here in the past, but I'm telling you about what I'm about to go do, and then you're seeing what I'm about to go do before I do it because now I'm past Gabe again. There goes my ADHD again. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's great. I love it. Okay, Friday, midday, lunchtime. Got some Subway, smoking some Swede. Got 15 minutes left on the way back to the office. Having a great day. Remember I said my goal was 35. Right now I got 10 billables. 10, possibly 11 billables at 12.30. Going back at one, we end the day at five o'clock, so I should have 20 to 30 billables by the end of today. Doing way better. Finish it strong after eating this Subway and uh, let y'all know what happened yesterday and today a little bit later because it's been a busy one and it's raining so peace for now yo end of the day friday and i can't believe i'm saying this but i actually hit my goal on the dot i hit 30 i ended with 30 it was the last phone call got the last transfer 30. I was like, whoa, 29 is good enough. All right, I almost got 30 because uh, remember I was aiming for 35 and I was like 30 to 35. And then the last call, boom, was 30. So I did it. I was loud all day. That confirms it. Brian's advice, my manager's advice, works. All I have to do is make sure that I'm conscious and applying it every single phone call. I was in the top 20, I believe. I remember I was on the top of the board. I could see myself without scrolling which is good, that means I'm near the top of the best. So I believe I was top 20 or top 15 for the whole day. Uh, you know, I didn't hit commission for the week because you have to hit 100 and I hit like 92 or something, whatever it was. And But that's good because now I know I'm capable of doing 30 on a Friday, which means that I can do 30 minimum every day. Friday is usually the worst day because we have the least amount of leads. So I'm fucking happy, that's fucking awesome. It's Friday, the vlog's almost over guys, but it's not done yet. Just wanted to really update that work goal of mine and hitting it, I'm really happy right now. Just dropped off my coworker Jennifer, we're at that 7-Eleven that I nap at <laughs> in the morning. It's the end of the week, I'm proud of myself. I'm exhausted, I still haven't even processed that the Braves have won the World Series, I've only watched it two or three times. I haven't even edited the content yet. I gotta go do that this weekend. We're gonna go do flea market this weekend. I gotta go make home, go home and make home and make food. Then I gotta buy Overwatch and learn how to play that with the, the homie Daniel and RJ. Lots to do. So this vlog isn't over yet. We got more to go. Stay tuned. And um, super happy I hit my work goal. I was thinking about that all week, how I can improve and get better, improve to myself that I could hit a certain amount every single day and I finally did it. Now I'm gonna drive home, it is like 6.13 right now, so hopefully get home before seven and uh, wrap up our week with a bang. So Friday um, is over with, it's now Saturday. But I wanted to end the week's vlogs it was an outro. I literally went to sleep for a power hour and then I was gonna wake up and play Overwatch with Daniel and RJ and I just fucking passed out all night. So 
I've been up since 7 a.m. I've been moving around, listening to music, hanging out with my dog, hanging out with my bird. I'm trying to teach him the tomahawk chop, which is the Braves theme song when we're trying to score a run late in the game. <clears throat> so playing that on repeat. Now about to go hit up the Oldsmar Flea Market. It's what I like to do on the weekends. Picking up Lauren. We're gonna both head out there. I'm gonna go get the bird's wings clipped. It's very cold outside, so I gotta get him ready to go out so he doesn't die, literally die from the cold weather. I'm gonna bring Chip out, and I'm gonna make that a whole nother vlog. And then I was supposed to come back, because last weekend I didn't have enough time to vlog my haul from the flea market, so I have to make a haul from <laughs> telling them what I got last weekend, telling you guys I have to make a haul. So I have to make a haul telling you guys what I made last... Oh, so I have to make a haul. So I have to make a video basically recapping what I hauled in from last week's flea market. Um, Cause I didn't get to show you guys yet. And then after today, I'm gonna do that haul and then I'm gonna do today's haul. But it's gonna be two videos in the same day. So that's sometimes that's vlog life. Sometimes you don't have time to film, especially when it's real like this. I'm just vlogging my daily life. We're gonna run into these things, but it's fun. I like the challenge. This is the end of this week's vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, how I can improve this. This is for my close fam. If you watched all of this, even some of this, you are what I call a super fan. You're my super fam. You know, instead of a fan, I think I'm gonna call y'all my fam. Y'all ain't fans, you're fam. Cause I'll do stuff for y'all, like edit videos for free, or give y'all advice, or talk to the phone, talk on the phone with y'all. Let me know anything y'all want from me, family, fam, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. More coming soon. I'm gonna just kind of vlog as much as I can and videotape uh, as much content as I can. Music coming soon. More uh, funny videos, compilations, baseball videos music videos, you name it, we got it. So stay tuned. Used to be a Luminous, now it's Gabriel Beck. Slash Luminous. Peace.